Well, here at least 44,000 people have signed up to host a refugee under the government's Homes for Ukraine scheme. Almost three million have now fled the country since Vladimir Putin ordered uh, the Russian invasion nearly three weeks ago. Let's go live to West. And up to this, are the details more clear of how this will actually happen once you've signed up? Yes. More now on those fleeing from war and from today, Ukraine passport holders will no longer need to attend in-person appointments to submit fingerprints or facial verification before they come to the UK. It's in a bid to make the process quicker and easier. Well, Jonathan sweated, haven't you, by the lack of people on the ground there. Will this new development about not needing to be in person if you have a Ukraine passport be of use? Well, here the generosity continues. The Hindu community in Bolton is sending £50,000 worth of vital supplies to Poland to help Ukrainian refugees. Local people gathered food, clothing and bedding in just a few days to help families stranded at a shelter uh, after they made it out of Ukraine. Nithya making its way to Poland, a really strong sign, again, as Michael Gove was saying there, of the generosity of the British public. Also this morning, a man had overwhelming support from the public, faith groups and the wedding industry. That's it. You're up to date. Oh, my favourite news story is those damn passenger locator forms have finally <laughs> been consigned to the waste bin. Have you struggled with them? They are. They were a nightmare. And do you know what struck me in the new home? Yeah. You know, you can't control little children. And it's a minimum of six months. We're right. going to talk to Lisa Nandy. Good morning. Boris Johnson today has called on Western nations to take back... Thank you very much indeed. Oh, we certainly all stand. Almost 45,000 people have signed up to host a refugee under the government's Homes for Ukraine scheme. Well, nearly three million people have now fled the country since Vladimir Putin ordered the Russian invasion nearly three weeks ago. She a response from the British public, but they've got to find a name, a Ukrainian refugee to have in their home. That's not going to be easy if you don't know anybody from that country. From today, Ukraine passport holders will no longer need to attend in-person appointments to submit fingerprints or facial verification before they come to the UK in a bid to make the process quicker and easier. It follows the government launching a scheme yesterday, as we've been hearing, to help find homes for those people in the UK who've had to flee theirs. Jonathan, to sort of help those who don't need an in-house, uh, in-face appointment get to the UK quicker. Will it help those people you've spoken to? Jonathan uh, near Calais this morning. Also in the news this morning, we're hearing the last state. Oh my goodness, a, a glimmer of gold dawn for that family, unfortunately. But if it comes straight from the lawyer, that there is some hope. And let's just fingers crossed for Absolutely. Richard. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the front pages this morning. Daily. Welcome back. Nearly 6.15 now. Uh, 